hey, it's, it's, it's a Mario. There we go. Like, it's a very distant voice that we all know. You can't have Chris Pratt's bum ass, boring voice, freaking boring ass voice as freaking Mario. Are people really that stupid? <laughs> Are people really that stupid? It looks good. Um, your boy Bowser Jack Black. Yeah, you can work with that. Keegan Michael Key, who is super ta- ta- talented, if you watch um, Key and Peel, quality as um, told. And then this is what people feel. I say, wait a minute. Is Chris Pratt actually going to try and do Mario's voice? Or is he just going to have Chris Pratt's voice? People are saying, oh, it's a Brooklyn answer to New York accent. No, that's Chris Pratt's. Because what these guys are doing is stupid. Because I know what these guys are doing. Chris Pratt is now the new hot name. He's the new big star. And he brings in an audience. So that, well, he puts butts in seats. Let's just have Chris Pratt as Chris Pratt in there. Because we're going to get the Chris Pratt audience. And that's the stupidity. Because they feel they need the Chris Pratt name. To bring in an an, an audience for a freaking Mario movie. Most people, specific of a a specific generation, most people have played Mario. This is video games. They like GTA has done some of the biggest entertainment numbers of any entertainment franchise. You know the numbers that freaking Halo did? It's freaking Mario. This is the godfather of all video games. It's bloody Mario. So why why I don't why would it get a voice actor? That's what just bounced me now. Why would you not get a freaking voice actor to voice the freaking voice? Because my thing is that I don't want to hear Chris Pratt's voice for a whole movie. And people said, Oh, the Mario voice only works for a game, but it would be an annoying in a um in a in, in a film. That shows you how stupid people are. A voice actor is a very talented profession. Because what you do is, how a voice actor does a voice for a video game is very different from how they would do it with a film. We now have different scenes. And voice actors are talented enough to tailor their voice for a video game where you have to be a lot more expressive because you're just saying sound bits as opposed to now, you're not doing a film. So you need to now sort of um, mediate your voice. Voice actors can do that. <laughs> whether it's a Frank Welker, whether it's a Tom Kenny, they know because... They, that's their skill. Their skill is to be is to be able to do different things with their voices and whatever the director needs. They played a clip of the French double, this Mario thing, and yeah, that sounds like Mario, you know, because because eh, I don't think this this guy's so stupid. He has a very distinct voice. He's hey, it's, it's, it's a Mario. There we go. Like it's a very distinct voice that we all know. You can't have Chris Pratt's bum ass, boring voice, freaking boring ass voice as freaking Mario. His voice is boring. You can't have that. What are you doing? Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt? Come on, man. Because this is something that we all love Chris Pratt. No, we don't. No, we don't. Don't speak as something that everyone just loves Chris Pratt. He's the everyman. No, we don't. Go look at the reactions online. Guys are like, wait, you have Chris Pratt's voice as Mario? It's just him being Chris Pratt. No. It's him being freaking Chris Pratt. Uh, for me, I just find it stupid. This should be what they do with the whole Sony thing. I think if enough people complain, they just say, look, get this bum ass Chris Pratt out of there and get in Mario's proper voice. Or just give me two, two versions. I can't watch a version of this movie without a voice. No way. Like, it's a boring, stupid voice. And it's not Mario. I'm like, no, Mario has a very distinct voice. Come on, bro.